developer live stream into the light. It's March 19th, 2024. Andy. Those are developers. All right, hello everyone and welcome here to beautiful Bungie HD. I'm turn it up a little bit. Scenic Bellevue, Washington. Uh, my name's Andy and I'm gonna be your host today. And today we have the distinct opportunity to go ahead and show off some brand new stuff coming in Destiny 2 into the light. But fret not, I won't be the only one going ahead and telling you about it. I have joined by three members of the Destiny development team who we'll go ahead and introduce here right away. Starting directly to Andy's my left, Mr. Andy. Tom Farnsworth. How are you doing today? Great, thank you, Andy. I am uh, doing great. I had coffee, yeah. breakfast on the way here. I'm a little ready to go. I'm excited yeah. to share uh, I had coffee all the great work the team has done yeah. uh, the, the past many months. And uh, just, just for context about me, yeah. I'm the, uh, the creative lead. Uh, into the light, and I'll be here with you the next few weeks to talk about it. Looking forward to it. Yeah, we've got a lot of fun stuff in store. And of course, we're joined by senior narrative designer, Mr. J Jerome Viernich. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great. Also had coffee. Nice. On the highway <laughs> while right. screaming and passing cars. Quite a drive in as well. They're having and coffee the folks today. folks at home who may not know you as well as we've had the opportunity to, to, to learn about you over the past couple days, uh, who are you and what do you do here at Bungie? I am a senior narrative designer, which means if you hear a character say it, or if you read it on screen, one of us typed it into a tiny little box Excited. at some point months before. Hanging out with Excel lots these days? A absolutely. There it is. Tiny yeah. words, tiny boxes. That's me. <laughs> it's an important tool, obviously. Absolutely. And of course, last but very not least, one of the most deadly I've ever seen to rock the thumbsticks, especially in these past couple days, the one and only Mr. Noah Lee, activity designer here on Destiny 2. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Noah Lee. I'm an activity designer on Destiny 2 Into the Light. And I have the distinct pleasure of <laughs> introducing that? us to Onslaught so you can see all the really cool things that we have in store. <laughs> I'm a long time player. I've been playing since Destiny 1. And as a player turned dev, I'm excited to show off all the stuff we have planned. I'm just so excited to see what's awesome. going on. Awesome. Well, hey, welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for taking time to join us. To everyone in chat, I see a lot of activity in there as well. Thank it's you very not much for taking time to join us today as well. But yes, today we're going to go ahead and kick things off by looking at Onslaught, which is a brand new activity coming in, coming in Destiny 2 into the light. Onslaught, no, that's uh, a perk. For those of you out there that are Twitter enjoyers that have had a chance to go ahead and see what we've been posting the last week, uh, we went ahead and released some key art last week that is now up on screen. You can see here, uh, there's a lot going on here. So let's go ahead and just start. Tom, can you tell us a little bit about what Onslaught is? Yeah, so Onslaught is a new uh, three-player activity that, that, that's the, kind of the core of Into the Light. It's, a, uh, it's available to all players. Yeah. And you can kind of see Three. in this, this key art, like this is a kind of aspirational view of what Onslaught is in game. Yeah. It's a, it's a new uh, wave defense uh, activity. Uh, it, it, it takes inspiration from a, you know, a lot of modes we, we, we've looked at, like uh, in other games and our games yeah. awesome. through, throughout our, our kind of history. And you can see here, you're, you're in the last city. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm really excited that last our city. players are going to be able to, like, the guardians are going to be able to hop into no. this space and you know, defend the last city and you know, eventually take the fight uh, our to fight? the witnesses for Did they say here. what it was? And you can, you can kind of see, uh, like, you know, you got our three guardians. That they're kind of ringed in defenses. Yeah. You also got like the pyramids in the sky. That's right. Yeah. And there's even some like wave kind of pyramid terraforming going on in the background in there. In the city itself too. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. And they are at the our city. And there's a few other locations too, but we'll, maybe we'll talk about later. We'll talk about that later. Sparkly. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so Board you mode? know, also too, Jerome, we are. This is you know not the first time obviously we've ever had to go ahead and defend ourselves on our own turf, but never quite like this before. Our heels are dug in. We're in the last city right now. Can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on here? Absolutely. So for the past several seasons, the Forces of the Witness have been closing their vice grip mm -hmm. around the soul system. The Witness is inside the Traveler doing nefarious deeds, enacting the final shape. Right. Time is on its side. Yeah. We have worked with uh, ancient magics, esoteric rituals, yeah. bargaining with uh, our old foes in order to send someone through the portal and uh, establish a bridge, and we chose Crow. Yeah. Now, until he makes contact with us, we are back at home sharpening our knives. Yeah. Now, the witness, of course, will do everything that it can to keep us on this side of the portal. Understand. Which means unleashing every bit of its resources, every uh, part of its power against us to keep us pinned yeah. in the last city. Um, so this is about breaking out and uh, discovering new power, yeah. right? Sharpening ourselves, yeah. finalizing our builds, and getting some new toys so that we can face down the witness. That's right, and we're also getting some help from a tried and true sharpener of Guardians as well. Shax is gonna be helping us out as well, right? Absolutely. Where some see calamity, Shax sees opportunity. Yeah. And he is gonna be opening up his arsenal 
for us to uh, enjoy. I think we'll hear about that next week, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he'll be your vendor, and uh, I'm really excited for players to hear from him. Awesome. As someone who spends a lot of time in the Crucible, it's always good to spend more time with Shax. Inspirational, to say the least. Absolutely. Uh, high volume. Yeah, honestly. That's, that's the best part of him. I'm jealous of the mustache. Grenades. I've always wanted oh, to Reminder to everyone. Never go wrong. May, to, yeah. may it be a hint to us all. Uh, and, of course, no, there's a lot also, too, going on here. I see turrets. I see other activity defenses. Uh, obviously, we're going to jump into some gameplay here, but before we do, can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to see when we dive in to play some Onslaught here live in just a bit? Yeah, of course. So some Something that's really cool about what Onslaught is compared to a lot of our activities in Destiny is, like Tom said, it's not an offensive, it's a defensive. Our goal is to defend the ADU, or Advanced yeah. Defense Unit, which allows us to build our defenses like turrets, tripwires, decoys, and the main goal is to make sure that that thing stays up for all of your waves that you're fighting in. Yeah. And if that goes down at any point, regardless if you're on playlist, normal, or on legend difficulty, your game will end. So yeah. the main goal is to keep your defenses can safe, it go forever? build them up, upgrade them, and try to get as far as you can. Yeah, legend difficulty, interesting. Already dropping some hints. I like what I'm hearing. You know, I had to do it. And Obviously. another thing, just really quickly, yeah, is we had a lot of learnings from some of our activities in the seasons, like deep dives and the coil, where we know players like when we escalate difficulty over time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a key feature of Onslaught. You go from wave one to wave 50, each one 50. Each 10 escalating in difficulty after we're seeing gameplay. And that serves a really cool opportunity for players to test their builds yeah. and, you know, the, the waves of enemies that we're fighting against are the whetstone by which we are sharpening ourselves. Excellent. Yes, build crafters, you're on notice. Be prepared for what's to come. All right, well, I say there's no 50? time like the present. We are seeing a lot of requests in chat for gameplay. I think we can go ahead and dive on in. Uh, the throne world. Noah, would you mind returning to your throne world briefly to go ahead and kick things off here? My tithes. Obviously, yeah, we got to get some tithes for the man himself. Uh, in the meantime, really quickly, obviously, with Onslaught being a brand new activity, we're going to kick things off in a very different way. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to see when we go ahead and start things off? Yeah. You're going to see it in the gameplay here in just a second, but uh, Onslaught is a, a kind of establishing a, a defensive kind of like beachhead in these contested territories where we're like trying to, you know, claw space back from the witness. Certainly. And we're going to see it in Midtown here in a moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, so players, you know, start off with you and two other maybe friends you, you've, you've found uh, uh, that, 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 that you, you play with all the time or maybe yeah. you match make you in with. And uh, you're going to... Uh, Work, push forwards with Shax's Red Jacks yeah. that you're going to see here. What's a you'll red jack? Uh, establish a defensive area. You'll deploy the advanced defense unit, and you'll start placing defenses. Yeah. As Noah said, there's uh, there's turrets, there's trip mines, there's yeah. decoys. The decoys. decoys is our favorite little sweepy That's bot. Right. Yep. And uh, back to help once again. And you can you can upgrade those too. Like the, yeah. the way the activity works is you defeat enemies to collect. Oh, Shax's sweepy yeah. bot, which is our, which is our, our, our currency, mm -hmm. and then you can spend that to deploy these defenses. And you're going to have to be kind of selective. Like each of these. Defensive locations can can move around throughout the activity. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and oh, here we go. We oh, got, awesome. We already this got some already. here. Yes. So we're over here trying to create a foothold for our ADU, uh, supported by Shax's lovely Red Jacks. You know, we love no one loved them. Okay. And as soon as we've cleared out the elixir that are here, where the fallen, uh, our ADU's here. As we see, we got some batteries in tow, and this begins. Our first really interesting part of this activity, which is our purchase phase. Killing enemies will grant you scrap, like we see in the top left. And right. you have 30 seconds to pick one of a suite of upgrades. We have trip wires that you can buy for a thousand, uh, decoy, which is our lovely sweeper bot here, and turrets. Please I know people I'm are very ways. curious about turrets, so I'm just gonna buy this ways. first. There we go. But we have uh, our lovely guests, Clayton and Ashley, who have helped create this activity in our playtest team. They're yep. with me, helping fill out the fire team. and. Uh, they're building their defenses. It's always best to have some solid teammates. And also, to uh, for the folks in chat noticing some weapons, uh, go ahead and, and just go ahead and observe midnight everything coup? you can possibly mm. see on screen. Oh, it's okay. We, uh, we're we going to have plenty of time to oh, those inventory midnight screens. Coup. But in the meantime, yeah, <laughs> chat is uh, connecting some dots with the things they may have seen in the key art. Uh, but also, too, so, Jerome, we're here, obviously, going ahead Favorite and doing this better. for a reason, right? The ADU is here for a purpose. Can you help us understand a little bit about the role that plays in the defense that we're mounting against the witness? Absolutely. 1830? Um, Uh-oh. When all of the guardians you think there's a power and their allies the light? enter the portal to face down the witness, mm -hmm. Earth will be essentially undefended. Yeah. So it's important that we establish solid defenses now um, and claw back as much territory as we can in advance of our assault. I also want to just point out uh, 
I know we're not going to be able to look at it, and uh, we'll see the weapons next week, oh, yeah. but uh, we've got some beautiful new lore yeah. on those weapons, and so any of those... That he wrote, yeah, that he remembers writing. writing. Yeah, it's, really uh, nice. we, we will be only uh, maybe looking at whatever happens to show up on the stream today, but yes, this is the, the Brave Arsenal, as it will be known. Players will get Ooh, a chance to go and be more intrinsically involved with this. We'll have more information on that in the coming weeks, but uh, yeah, for those out there that are observing maybe some... some previous Guardian favorite weapons out there, uh, worry not. You've got lots of information to learn over the next coming weeks. But yeah, I want to kind of get started on kind of what players have been seeing since we've been talking about Please, yeah, yeah. As a whole, uh, as we're able to see, like, the ADU has a health over its head right here, and we have enemies in waves coming to try to defeat it. If you've been paying attention, we have high-value targets that are mini-bosses or elites called saboteurs, which drop... Uh, these repair batteries and for other attempted players we can see that there are champions involved so you know bring your champion weapons <laughs> make sure that you are well uh equipped for this we have different waves and different augments like we're seeing on wave three i don't mind that champs. demand your immediate attention yeah we know destiny players like to run and gun so we try to get you out we're of the space of the adu sometimes mm -hmm. so that you can kind of the, do those objectives what's this map to called? make sure that oh, oh yeah it's I literally the pvp map and all these other spaces uh, when we have the other maps that you see. Yeah, Crucible enjoyers know this space pretty oh, well. No, it's It'll be a chance for everyone to go oh, and check it out. But also, too, actually, no, thank you, Noah, for checking that out. Uh, obviously, the pyramids have been busy in here helping to go ahead and mount this offensive. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, they have an eye for decoration. Yeah, honestly, they're, and they're doing a great job. i got to give them credit. They keep, they keep it consistent. But, they, um, but Jerome, this is, these are pyramid ships in our own backyard that are going to go ahead and just try and terraform the city, or can you help I us mean, honestly, learn what's going on here? Well, it's fine, it's rehashed. It's they don't fine. have to do anything. I yeah. mean, the witness is doing what it wants to do, and if we we don't yeah. stop it then it's game over yeah so they really just need to to keep us pinned um the witness is inevitable there's no way we could kill defeat every one of the witnesses soldiers right uh there's no way we could you know fight them one by one we'll try we have to we have to deal with the witness head on yeah inside the traveler yeah and uh, we'll do that soon so also to you know obviously getting to go ahead and, and send players away from the adu is pretty significant when it comes to accomplishing all of the tasks in front of you here in onslaught but uh Dude's Tom, can you tell us in. a little bit about the defenses as well like we, i think He's we see some trip mines up already set and ready to go yeah you, um, you can see the the horizontal beams those are trip mines as you upgrade them the colors will change mm -hmm. they'll be able to do more damage and, and, and kind of fire off more more trip mines charges. get more charges, uh, yep. and they get more in size. If you upgrade it, you'll go from one trip mine to two, as we see here, mm -hmm. which is really nice. I'm going to keep going. And then we've also got the, the turrets. No, if you can turret in a second. Oh, yeah. Uh, right those as well, they, 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 when, when you, oh, yeah. you can upgrade those three, three, three levels as well, they change color, they, they deal more damage, they get more health. How yeah. many uh, waves? Waves. Is it yep. unlimited? And, and then we've also got Leaderboard? Bot, who do also those decoys. Uh, Mostly just gain health and change uh, color a little bit, but the idea here is like each of these defensive Anarchy locations, you're, you're, like we're gonna kind of randomly pick yeah. defenses for you to deploy. They said 50. And Did it's they up say to that you was the max? Make the best choices and use your limited resources, yeah. the scrap that you're collecting, to, to, to make the best ch uh, choices there because you're not gonna have all the currency you need right off the bat to like you know of to, course. deploy everything and upgrade yeah. everything. You're gonna Could have to be more like, than no, 50. We want, maybe we want this turn. <sighs> maybe oh. They, they were, it Could be like enemies are coming more from this direction. Maybe we should have these trip mines. Right, yeah. Let's focus our, our attention and abilities maybe in a different direction. Let the trip mines and turrets do some work in a different direction. Yeah. yeah. Something I want to bring up is we actually have a bonus objective going on right now. Finn? We have secondary objectives that occasionally appear uh, in waves. And this one is just to complete the wave within a certain amount of time. And if you complete that while you're defending the ADU, you got to make sure that's alive. You'll actually get a reward, which is a heavy ammo crate that will refill your ammo. When you get higher up in the waves and you get more difficult enemies and like larger waves of, of stuff, like that is definitely something you're going to be trying to get. Yeah. And that kind of ties into the team coordination you can do. Like if you have a good team in the higher difficulties, uh, you're going to need a little bit more coordination. You might need somebody to go out and do the augments and somebody to go out and do the critical objectives. Yeah, and also too, so just to make sure Tom as well, this isn't the only AD you are going to be defending in this activity. It moves around the map. So, as Noah said earlier, there's 50 waves in yeah. our, our, our challenge version of this activity. Okay. Uh, so, uh, there's a playlist version, which is just one location. Mm -hmm. It's easy, quick, fun to hop into. You do 10 waves and you're done. And okay. then there's the challenge version, which we're showing here. So, mm -hmm. there's uh, 50 waves or, or, or five sets of 10 waves, yes. uh, is how we like to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, with each of those sets uh, of waves we move, around the map between three different locations. Okay, got it. And so you'll, you'll start at one ADU, you'll defend it, 
you'll take the fight to the witness for a little bit, you'll yeah. come back, and then you'll build up defenses more and then go fight a boss. Yeah, which is what we're seeing as well right now. Like, we're on board a pyramid ship now, right? Yeah, this is, a, this is one of my favorite phases. Uh, where instead of defending the ADU, we take the fight First to them. First place of the vial. And as you see, we cultivate a spark of light, and it's time to run it down, destroy the witnesses, lieutenants, and, you know, do a fun backflip. Let's hope I can you know, pull that <laughs> off. Do the backflip. It's important. If you don't do the backflip, chat's going to be very upset. I can already tell. Very. Here we go. Look at that. Here we go. Ooh! <laughs> you make it look so easy, Noah. Because I'm just good. I'm just good. <laughs> he is good. He's doing, he's doing pretty well. I, I'm not going to get not gonna first place the of the first vial, back to mid it's, it's, it's going to be a little fine. spicier later. The, yeah. the first few waves Would you rather are, do strikes? Or, 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 you know, kind of like the training wheels. Right, yeah. Because you were saying, too, there's there's a 10-wave uh, a version of this and a 50, was yes, it? Yes, there's yeah. a 10-wave version that's called right. Onslaught Playlist. Okay. Uh, you know, if you're in for, uh, you want to be in for a short session, I think that's definitely the place for you. <laughs> Onslaught, <laughs> in our experience from playtesting, <laughs> is really easy to lose track of time and just mm -hmm. kind of keep going. You're all, you, you can always be like, you know, just one more wave, a few more, you know, a few more sets, and then you're like, dang, it's been an hour. Like, it's actually crazy. Oh, yeah, Noah, yeah. I, got a, I got a question, if you yeah. don't mind. How do you decide whether to unlock new defenses or upgrade the ones you've already got? So it really is a risk-reward thing. As we're seeing, like, when you upgrade defenses, they will exponentially increase in price, which means that you have to make a decision every purchase phase, like, do I want to save my money to potentially upgrade something down the line and also hope that that defense, you know, lives long enough to be upgraded? Or am I just going to bite the bullet and buy something now that can help me immediately? My strategy save usually up. is that in the first few waves, save up. I will not buy anything to, like, just save up for later and usually my teammates will do something. Yeah. That's where communication comes in. If you just do that by yourself, I don't think your teammates will be very happy with you. As always, keeping the comms crisp is very important, especially as you get those higher difficulty levels. Because, uh, yeah, we're just in the kind of the fledgling waves of this right now. But, yeah, when we were doing our playtest yesterday, things got crazy in a hurry. I hope we get to see uh, some more of the craziness we saw yesterday. But oh, I don't want to spoil anything for chat. Obviously, there's plenty to be discovered in this. Something I neglected to mention, which we've been doing yeah. this whole time, is uh, the ADU batteries will actually heal it. Kind of similar to, like, Forges in the Black Armory from my, my real vets out there. Um, <laughs> And the ADU, the enemies are naturally compelled to come over here and like attack it. They'll shoot it, they'll knife at it. But also, if there's any enemies that stay in the radius of the ADU, you'll see it'll turn red yeah. and damage will start to tick. So that's when you need to throw your ADU batteries in there and you'll get scrap for that. But if your ADU's full on health, you'll actually get three times the amount of scrap. So it's in your best interest to try to keep it as healthy as possible because you might be able to snowball your defenses. Interesting. So especially if you're really pushing for those those later levels in, in like the 40s and 50s, maybe it just behooves you to hold on. For the oh, yeah. Levels are so, so, so like your abilities and weapons at the talking for a little bit. 50s is no joke. Should we six instead of three? Oh, my God. Oh, oh that's a big boy. <laughs> we, go. we got one of the bigger mods on the so, way. Yeah, Demolitionist, that's a perk on a weapon. Uh, Demolitionist, we get these huge ultras that come in and just, they're beeline for the ADU. Yeah. Why Since is Demolitionist the first wave, they're not that difficult, onslaught. but I promise you, wave 40, wave 50, these guys are tanky. They require a lot of attention. And we'll uh, some credit in making it look easy as well. You know, I'm, I, like I said, you know, I'm just that guy. He's <laughs> been preparing for this moment. Uh, also, too, actually, let's talk a little bit of build crafting. What are you running right now, Noah? So I'm not, you know, I'm not treading new ground here. I'm a nice stalker by heart. I got my Falcons on. We actually, off screen, we're figuring out how it's pronounced. But Gear Falcons, everyone, so <laughs> anyone who mispronounces it, that's how you say it. Um, doing that, I love Barry Bloodline. It's a great weapon uh, from, you know, Warlords. Ruin. Only I love the Catalyst. And, you know, I'm just doing that because Is this a 50 we might minute see game? some Tormentors, you know, who knows? Who knows? And I like precision when we're doing that because, you know, rockets aren't very effective. I can see over the past uh, day or so as we've been getting prepared for the stream, I'll admit my, my jealousy Coils for Barry Bloodline 50? has only been growing. I'm a big fan of Graviton Lance. We get along very well. But I got to say, the precision that you've been getting out of, of Barry Bloodline makes me uh, upset that I haven't just gone ahead and buckled down and gotten the farming done to get that thing unlocked, honestly. Yeah, yeah. great. So Coils as we see, uh, for sure. we are actually in the pyramid again for the boss. We're taking the fight back to the Witnesses' forces. And this brings up a really interesting part of all of the boss phases where instead of having immune shields or immune phases, we have different augmentations that allow you to increase your effectiveness against the boss. So for example, this one is augmentation well. If you stand in these wells and defeat high value targets, you will actually deal increased damage to the boss for the rest of the fight. That's something, because these are meant to be kind of like victory laps, like you've survived against the ADU, it is time to just you single-mindedly take down the boss. Yeah. 
It's like also too, actually, really quickly, Tom. So I know we were just, we touched on there being uh, 10 and 50 wave versions, but um, we got a question in chat from from Tyrkinator. Um, oh, is it random 9. matchmaking? Do you get to bring your own fire team in? Both. So playlist is random matchmaking, or you can bring your fire team in. Yeah. And then I, I believe the the challenge modes of which there was a normal version and like a, a hard version, which yeah. goes up to GM. Uh, I, I believe that the, the, the normal version is is match made. Um, we can correct on socials maybe for the second one. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think it's match made, but you, I, right. I think everything supports Fire Team Finder. Cool, awesome. Yeah, yeah obviously. Fire Team Finder. Uh, and honestly, too, it, GM it version. No, doesn't bring your own GM crew if you're pushing 50 yeah. waves. No, uh, it, it, we, we definitely want you to communicate. Yeah, in, in you say that activity the on the on the upper end, especially, it's, you're you're going to have a much better you time. Say GM? Yeah, yeah, honestly. Also, too, actually, while we're kind of on that subject, I remember something you mentioned earlier was you know kind of one of the goals I think from a design standpoint you were mentioning was that it's kind of just easy to get lost in this activity. You know, the combat sandbox that Destiny has, sometimes you just want to throw down and just test new builds, go crazy, and this is something that really seems to facilitate. What about the loot? Yeah, you, you might even feel it on the stream here as we, we're going to go deeper and deeper here. Like, we're on the, we've defeated the first set now, mm -hmm. we're on the second set. Uh, we're, doing, we're, like, we're at a new defensive location you can see here that's near the river walk in, uh, here. I'd like and, to care about loot. Like, yeah, it, we're to break the fourth wall. We, uh, <laughs> we're developers, so we were able to change it to our other faction. It's not always going to be Fallen. We have the high that were shown prominently in our poster art. Oh, that's right. Yeah, for the uh, the nice. more keen eyes at home, they may have noticed that behind the scenes, the faction has changed. So uh, when when Jerome mentioned it earlier, every single one of the the armies at the the, the witnesses' behest is going to go ahead and be a part of this fight potentially. Or which ones are they rather? Or if you don't mind me asking, I should say Jerome. This is your. Favorite. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got Fallen and uh, and Hive are going to be pressing the last city, but the Taken are definitely uh, active elsewhere. Yeah. They're sort of the, they're being marshaled for other purposes, which I won't. Uh, other elements of the seasonal mention. story are yet to be revealed. We'll let that obviously uh, uh, uncover let itself that goes on naturally. Yeah, there's, there's plenty for the lore hounds out there to go ahead and discover. Uh, Jerome, when, also too, when you're putting together a story like this, you know, obviously kind of helping us realize what the witness's mission is, like what was kind of some of your inspiration as you kind of looked at this activity and the opportunity it presented to the narrative team? We always start with the characters, like the emotions of the characters, what, mm -hmm. from their perspective, how they would see things, how they would react. Certainly. Um, and so that's what made Shaxx a natural fit for this. It's such a gear-focused um, activity. It's so ferocious mm -hmm. we needed a voice that matched that level of intensity yeah and so that's where we uh where we came up with Shax. yeah Shax is like the perfect hype man honestly yeah. this right um, it's and, so great when you get later in the rounds and he just kind of makes you feel like you can keep going <laughs> i mean that's that's his goal right the crucible is not a forgiving place and no he's there bringing grenades. folks in every single day that he possibly can so he's been preparing sense. us for this that's what the yeah. crucible yeah. was for no and that's a great way to look at this Cru the crucible is, is, is preparing you know, fighting other guardians to sharpen ourselves to, 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 to you know fight a war, and this is just fighting a war. Yeah, honestly, this is what we've been sharpening ourselves for. You know, yeah. this is that moment. Uh, also, too, kind of in that theme, uh, we got a question from Cozy Spartan in chat. Are there any other weapons that are coming back? As a quick reminder, we're gonna. This is the first of actual three or actually three streams as well. So next week we're gonna be talking about that. So make sure and mark Don't your calendar and tune in right then. Uh, today, this is just a taste of onslaught and kind of a, a first look at what's to come in the brand new activity. Joining us with Destiny 2 into the light. Out of money, I'm broke. Oh. Eggman. All out of scrap already? Yes. I bought one thing. <laughs> I suppose I spent it all on these two turrets, well. which have been performing pretty well, actually. Yeah. I, I, I'm a person, easy, I prefer easy. to upgrade a few things because their effectiveness is uh, you know, much more heightened. Right, this boring so content. I feel Tony like if you something. all pool your resources to make a few traps really good, Board. that might serve you well, but mm -hmm. you know, who knows? I know when you do legendary and you're in GM, you're really going to need those uh, defenses to help you out because. Those enemies are powerful, and they are focusing down your ADU unrelentingly. Yeah. All right, so we've touched on there are three different defensive tools at our disposal between the turrets, the trip mines, and obviously the decoy sweet bot. Uh, and those are upgradable, if I remember correctly? Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Cool. Uh, how far do those go? Like, what level? It'll be three. Three? Awesome. And uh, as I understand it, too, there's a pretty steep progression as they go ahead and continue leveling up. That scrap really ends up being worth it. They become more expensive, but yeah, they also like, it's not like a linear progression. It's more logarithmic. They, yeah. they kind of jump oh, up in power. power. Yeah. But you got to keep them safe, too. I right? said the GM enemies, again, like, You, you might get listening. an augmentation where like one of those big knights or big uh, fallen captains comes in and just smashes them. Yeah. And so you, <laughs> you definitely want to try to keep the space clear. Yeah. A brig drops in from low orbit and that just smashes it into bits. Yeah. yeah. It's been known to happen. Who knows? Yeah. Now, in that instance, if one of your defenses is destroyed, 
Do you repurchase it at level one? Yes, you have, yes, you you have to lose that. that. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that's one of the things you have to watch out for with trip mines. You know, like I said, they have charges and they will just, you know, they will go out on their own, but th that's why they're so cheap. You're going to have to rebuy them once you run out of charges. Yeah. And also, I think I saw Solo a question in chat. GM I missed the name, so apologies rounds. to whoever asked this. Uh, is Scrap individual or is it fire team wide? Fire so team. It, we've got an interesting way of doing it. So the, the fire team earns Scrap together, mm -hmm. but you each get to spend individually. Oh. So, so you can't mess up. Uh, your, your fire team uh, mates by like overspending. You've got your own little yeah. stock, your own little wallet, yeah. of purse uh, of scrap to spend. The, the blueberries uh, never so spend in their scrap. You, want, or you could just spend how you see fit to help the team. Yeah. In general, like anything you purchase is just going to help. Yeah. As someone too, like in the past, I played you know personally like a lot of wave best wave based defense games. There we go. Um, when it comes to the upgrades, I imagine like you were saying, it's pretty logarithmic. Is there a feeling of wanting to instead of getting you know three Log level one turrets, three logarithmic. level one turrets, get one level three turret for example? Like is that power? Game kind of the one you want to be chasing if you're pushing those higher levels? I think it's definitely valuable to do that as yeah. long as you can keep it safe. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, like, it's, sometimes it might be better to spread out the, yeah, that's true. the damage, but like a lot of that's going to vary like which the which augments or which enemies are coming in. Yeah. And you're not going to be able to control that. You're just going to How have dare to Bungie give be, this new yeah. content for free? How dare they? But it could be a bunch new of free content. Too. Yeah. How <laughs> we made dare sure. they? Who would put a diversity? bunch of exploder shanks into a wave? Who on earth would possibly be responsible for that? You can, blame content I, in I, my you can game. blame me for drop pods. You can blame Noah. <laughs> Make me I've pay for this content. Them. Everyone who's been their therapist about coil, Cabal drop pods, you know, can go ahead and start that directly to Tom. You can follow him on Twitter uh, right now. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm broke? Uh, Noah, out of or pardon me, uh, Jerome, out of curiosity, too, when it comes to kind of the seasonal story and where this fits in. So, again, we're digging our heels in, fighting against the witness, just sharpening ourselves. The next step, pretty much, is just to go ahead and hold out for as long as we can in preparation for that next battle, I'm assuming? Absolutely. We're uh, we're waiting for Don't Crow to wallets? essentially build a bridge in concert with uh, Mara, with help from Osiris and others. And uh, so it's really the universe is Car on racers. Crow's shoulders. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't... We couldn't imagine anyone better suited yeah. for the task. Yeah. Uh, his, Crow has come a long way in yeah. a short amount of time. Yeah. And I think he deserves a, an opportunity to, to show what he can Avatron. do. Yeah. And I think he'll come through for us. Still, uh, still has uttered one of my one favorite time. lines. Yeah, we went ahead and chased him into the next, into the, into the, the astral plane. Well, I just shot at him until he ran away, but your way is better. <laughs> He's earned his spot. He's ready to go, obviously. Uh, all right, no, 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 where are we at? What are, you, what are we looking at right now? Really so right now we're looking at one of our waves. I, like I was trying to say earlier, mm -hmm. we actually have a wide diversity of waves, like as we've seen with the Hive and the Fallen, that it's not just, you know, fighting Acolytes and Thralls every time we have different compositions. So this is a wave full of exclusively Ogres and Cursed Thrall. <laughs> cursed Thrall are nice because it allows you to chunk the Ogres if they're grouped up. Yeah. But at the same time, they're Cursed Thralls, and as we see, they are just booking it straight toward the ADU. These ogres it. seem very dedicated to their task out of the gate, honestly. It seems like within a millisecond, they're just lighting up anything they can possibly see. Yeah, I think they're really, they're really dedicated uh, to the witness, and you know, I think they're also kind of stupid, so they're just <laughs> you know, doing what they, what back they know. The game, I'm not right? brave enough to say that to an ogre's face, but I respect <laughs> you for being able to do so. So we're seeing another bonus objective here, actually, which is there are going to be Pyramid splinters that's Your spawn. ADU's taking damage. Like right now, where are they? I think there's one up behind you, Noah. Oh. Yellow bar. Oh, right here. Look at that. And then if you keep following it, it kind of leads you away from the space and. Okay, why am I just. There we go. We're able to get. <gasps> we're able to get down. heavy ammo, which I desperately need. In front of 100,000 players. Out of ammo. Uh, what is Destiny doing on Hunter So there's right tension, now. right? When those splinters lead you away from the ADU, right? You need to kind of have uh, split your attention in, quick. in Destiny, two top directions. Four on Twitch. Yeah, that's the thing that we were really wanting to index on. So for these critical, uh, not critical objectives, for these augments, they kind of uh, incentivize Dead players game. to like leave the ADU and kind of have roles. As we see, we got splinter mines, and you have guards that are guarding them. We have Clayton and Ashley doing that for me while Enemy I defend the ADU, is and that rampant. kind of means that. You have less people defending. Like the, the wave is still coming towards you, but there's things you have to do, and, th and those distractions, which aren't really optional, are uh, kind of what gives you that tension, and kind of Man, allows interesting build crafting going. decisions. Like that's something I kind of wanted to go into. Something that excites me. 125,000 people kind of insulting the live how our stream. seasonal meta kind of develops with things like Strand Titan and Solar over and over. Yeah. I'm interested in seeing if interesting things come out of like onslaught. Like, you're not trying to stay alive yourself. You're trying to keep this ADU alive. 
which is a you know object completely separate from this you. So like so stasis is going to be more useful. We're seeing uh, Ashley use arc. Uh, she's using Arc Souls, which has proven to be really useful against the Fallen. Like, is yeah. Risk Runner going to be something people want to use? Or Trinity Ghoul or Sunshot? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna forget that happened. That's fine. Yeah. So also, too, when, when it comes to the build crafting element, I can probably imagine when you're doing the GM difficulties, like it's not just your own build you're worried about, but making sure you have that communication GM across your team, okay. across champion Solo, mods, GM, across uh, element waves. types. Like, there's probably a whole heck of a lot to actually make sure you're keeping track of throughout this. Like, yeah, their hands there's together. a lot going on in the activity from a moment to moment making perspective. We have your community of different wave free content, you know, different squad compositions and different bosses as we're seeing and augments there. So really, like, build is king. Like, you're still shooting, shooting bad guys. You Using your abilities, using space magic, but it's all a matter of like how you use it in each situation. Like maybe you want well, something more offensive or when you're finding a boss, or song. you know, bring in that spark and rift. But when you're in the ADU, you might want something that help you hunker down. Actually, too, no, we're on that subject of augments. Uh, something you mentioned yesterday, I thought was pretty cool, were boss augments as kind of the levels continued to progress. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about those? So we just did an augment just now what that floor had of caretaker uh, capture points spawn in the arena. Oh, we have one right here. And what that does is that calls in. Uh, turrets that will eventually come and help us out. If we call both of them, they'll all activate, and that serves to kind of get some heat off of you. Yeah. And just overall kind of help, like, these are level three turrets. You know, you see they're in blue. They're looking really nice and spiffy. Yeah. And again, you were saying at level three, the fire rate also increases? Yeah, in the fire rate, health, and damage increases it's for them. But they cost 6,000 scraps, so you're going to need to save up a lot. Okay. I think it's... 12,000 scrap altogether for like going from level one. Can you just roll that leftover shrieker eye into some enemies maybe just for the, oh, it fell off. Where'd it go? Mind. All right. Go pull? Yep. <laughs> no, 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 the no, Twitch no. chat is not in sub only mode. Calls. All right, so what level are we on now? I don't know. We're on wave 20. 20. Was that 20? Okay, cool. Yep. Awesome. Man, this is going well, honestly. Uh, yeah, I will say, uh, especially after yesterday, we learned that Noah is one of the most dangerous to ever wield the two thumbsticks out there. <laughs> uh, to all the PvP streamers as well, go ahead and challenge him openly on the internet. Hey, I go yeah. flawless, you know, <laughs> check my KD. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I thought you were the gilded one. I, well, I don't want to brag, but as a four times gilded flawless, uh, I mean, I'll let you guys brag for that. Wow. Hey, I'm going to brag too. I got, I got Riven's Bane back in Forsaken. Petrol's run, that was tough. You know, all my Riven's Bane's out there, we know what's up. Oh. And Shadows. <laughs> Oh, got it. There's, there's, there's a, chest. a, a chapter in the loot? Dream Journal dedicated to that particular Open the chest. in their lives, obviously. Oh, they can't show the loot. They don't want to show the Drop loot. the Bungie ID, they're saying. Perhaps. <laughs> I'll leave that up to him. That is his... Oh, I can do it. No, I'll do it. Check Plus, my Raven this is not his... Check my dungeon. Hey, I'm there. This is also not really? his live account, so he doesn't even get to keep the loot. It's a test account or whatever. Uh, let's see here. So new ADU, new location? Yep. Yes. Well, that's something I neglected to mention. So every time you do a boss, you will actually change locations. Yeah, and let me just week. buy something real quick. Save money, but they haven't you, said the, word uh, the defenses once. you that's pick, nice. like that you place before in your previous locations, those will still be active. So that means that you building up your defenses over time. You obviously can't upgrade these since they're not at the location you're on, but they will help you. And when the waves get harder, so you having a level three turret or level three decoy somewhere, that will actually help you out, I'm and you'll be able to take aggro from the waves. Like we see, hey, the, the turret right there doing damage to the knights. That it all kind of helps that feeling of feeling like you're the vanguard and the last city, like you're helping to defend them. Yeah. These emplacements are permanent and not just temporary. Okay. You're really, really digging the trenches and setting yourself in. Okay, we're good. Uh, we'll put that on the list of things that chat didn't see. We get a veto. <laughs> that's the one that everyone gets to forget. Sorry, chat, but that didn't just happen. Everyone uh, makes mistakes, man. Also, too, actually, uh, J.R. Bizzle in chat asks, uh, are the rewards going to be tied to the wave you get to? Now, I know Noah kind of mentioned this a little bit when he was referencing the coil earlier, but, you know, obviously there's Luke. a, uh, between the level 10, or pardon me, the 10 wave and the 50 wave versions, you know, what's the reward story for each one? So, yeah. in, in all the activities, every time you beat, Ten waves, and you beat the boss. You'll get a chest. Okay. Get rewards. So every ten waves. Yep. You get, okay. Okay. And then in the uh, the challenge mode, there's a normal and the hard version of those. In the normal version, you'll get uh, you get a normal chest all the way until the last wave. You can beat the final wave. Yeah. You'll get double rewards. Oh, okay. And then if you play the, the hard mode, yeah. You get you get uh, they're additional not gonna say rewards it. in all the ways. They're talking Excellent. about levels. Okay. And, and so like. There's some little surprises there too. We might have along the way that, that yeah. uh, at the end as well. Just that if you're lucky. Excellent. Yeah. For the ones that oh, are really going to go ahead and try it a few times out, maybe there's an additional variable thrown in there from time to time. Excellent. Yeah. Um, also too, actually, uh, Kurt Jones 29 asks, how do revives work in this activity, both between normal and legend? So that's actually a great question. Um, 
as we see now, there is not, oh my good lord, like, give me a second, give me a second. <laughs> what a great time to think critically, <laughs> the tormentor on your doorstep. I, I can answer that for Noah, Noah, Noah take down the tormentor. Um, <laughs> the, the way oh, the revives I, work is like, in the, uh, it, the first two sets, yeah. darkness is off. But when we get to the third set, we yeah. turn darkness on. So if you all go down, or the ADU goes down, the activity's yeah. over. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So you just take the rewards you got for the two. And in Legend, that's on by default. Yeah, you don't lose any rewards. Every every set you complete, you'll get rewards. Yeah. Uh, but if you're halfway through a set and you fail, yeah, that's it. That's it. God. Just take your lunchbox and God. go home. Yeah, well, you can hop right back in the playlist. Or that's you can hop right back in with your friends. and yeah. Try again. Which is what I'm gonna do, frankly. Yeah. Honestly, like I, like when when this was getting developed behind the scenes here, and was, we were kind of getting a sense of what Into the Light was gonna be. I gotta tell you, like just the the. I don't know, the ability to just go ahead and keep diving back in, testing new builds. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has every single one of their loadout slots filled with some hyper-specific loadout that I'm deeply in love with in its own way. And so I feel like this is the exact right time to go ahead and just continue diving in and just, you know, bolstering those loadouts to begin with, with the Brave Arsenal, which again, we'll be talking about next week, don't you worry. Uh, but also too, is just get the chance to go ahead and really see how they can, next week. they can thrive in environments just outside of, you know, even as difficult as GMs can be. Find something that really pushes it beyond that standard level that we're used to. Yeah, and you're, you're going to need to be ready for a lot. We're trying to throw a lot of variety at you, right? Those yeah. are two combatant factions that you're going to be facing and the Fallen Hive that can, can randomly be in there when you start That's the mission. Right. There's the, the, the multiple defensive locations, and there's, like, the, the progression of the waves, there's augments, the, all these things are kind of working in, together in concert to, like, test your ability to coordinate as a team and in your build game, too. Excellent. Uh, also, too, actually, uh, Optimal Pickle in chat, wonderful name, I might add. Uh, is also curious, I know we just talked about scrap gathering, obviously, and how everyone kind of gets their own purse. Are you able to gift that scrap to other people, or you just get your own purse as you, a result of uh, You just get your own gift purse. Gift the scrap, yeah. but you can both, uh, like, if someone uh, places something else, you can upgrade it. Okay. You Got can it. coordinate. Got it. Respect. They can drop the level two, you can upgrade, or they yep. can drop the level one, you can upgrade it to level two. Yep. Nice. Very good. All right, that communication is going to be... Uh, yeah, we wanted to keep it simple and fast. Like we, we didn't want to have, like... We did a lot of work to make sure it was as streamlined as it could be, because currency can get complicated if sure. you're not careful about what it. What did you In the say, battle, honestly, yeah, it's like a sweeper yeah, bot, whatever. Wants yeah. to open their wallet and be like, you got a five? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> can you break 3,000 scrap? <laughs> <Is> that... <laughs> I'm getting shot here. <laughs> That's right. Just a little bit, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, go still help you out with that. See. We're getting up there in the ways, and they're getting a little bit more beefy. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, are, are murdering your way through. This is going great. Another thing I really appreciate about Onslaught, other than like the fact you can get lost in it, is like yeah. live stream could have been an place email. To go. Yeah. And and just like if you want to do bounties, if you want to do triumphs, you've got yeah you know, things you want to level up, catalysts like oh. just, hey, just like hop in onslaught and chill. And yeah, you'll you'll be able to really have, like you're just like not know, making shared tear through a lot of enemies crap. and like. Hey, then everyone, you some can jabroni can just burn all the scrap on some crappy upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> or, but the alternative or, uh, is some jabroni is going to hold on to like 5,000 scrap, but if he wish. sucks at the game... Yeah, and, and some waves are really like hard. Then he's probably not getting like, any kills. You, if you've got a bunch of guys coming down a hallway, and you yeah. can unload your supers, unload your, your ammo, and it feels awesome. Yeah. Really, like, you have that peak power fantasy. Yeah. It's also to uh, no, you're getting some some cred in chat for your ability to dispatch champions. Uh, I don't know why people are asking about a bungee dev fighting champion mobs. I don't know if that's a reference to something, mm. but you'll have to remind us in chat. Mm. Uh, I don't I don't know if I recall that moment necessarily. Oh, we have. Oh, oh, I know what they're talking about. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm that guy. I'll dr <laughs> I'll drop the bungee at. I don't care, man. <laughs> Check me out. I believe you, honestly. I envy that level of confidence. Yeah, I, I'd be dead. I hide in the background. Joe's I have my, my name in game is just Andy, right? and I yeah, hide it amongst sorry, the, that's the field of other Andys with all of our little hash numbers at the end of our name, honestly. Though if you see the one with the dead man's Hold tail, you, you know that's me for certain. Great honestly. weapon. One of my favorites, honestly. It's so good. It's so stylish. It's just like my favorite gun in any video game ever, honestly. It's really, really good. Uh, though, then again, we get along pretty darn well. Okay, so yeah, we're so back days, on the pyramid ship. Yes. Yeah, also every two. six waves, actually, you're gonna... Six, thank well, you. Well, on the sixth wave of each thing, Thanks so six, hold. 16, 26, 36, you know, et cetera. Okay. You will take the fight to the witness and have a cool little encounter that's, you know, it's, it's, it feels like an action movie. You're, yeah. You and your team get to run down against waves uh, like it's waves of combatants, you know, in this hallway, and then there's an invincible warden at the end, and the only way to dispatch Three him and move streams. on is get the dunk in like, the wrist. Like oh, and he was a little, little breather. Yeah, absolutely. Look at all the waves. Also, too, actually, you know, Jerome, from a from a lore standpoint, you yeah, know, from they a don't need to standpoint, obviously, here's this the thing. You know, make sure that we're pushing forward in the activity and we've got a, a, an appropriate challenge. But why are the guardians able to go ahead and even head they back into these ships to go ahead? Took us a long time to gain that relationship, and. 
now the, the it's sort of permeable. Between it can go both ways, can, right? Yeah. Uh, After some bad black the blast. witnesses forces are much um, more able to access our space, as we can see, right? They're in certainly. the middle of Midtown, so. um, but we are also able to access their space more. Yeah. So um, it's a double-edged sword, yeah. so to speak. They opened that door. Now they can't. Take That's it right. The yeah. guardians are going to be in there, emoting and meddling and Final having a grand old time. Live stream. Final shape. See, there we go. This is for your heart. Go ahead and flex your razor all the time. It's all right. Let's get it game. out of the way. We're ready to pick I say up a little morsel. I'm bitterly jealous because I don't have it. Yet. Final shape live streams. That's got to be big production. So that's what the way 27. That's right. when a lot of eyes Ooh. are on it. Oh my lord. Yeah, this is starting to starting okay. to get spicy out here. All right. <laughs> let's let's lock in, guys. <laughs> Sorry, we're just making it more uh, more theatrical. Yeah, we totally aren't trying at all. It's super easy. I just know I'm going to turn a corner and there's going to be the cursed minorities like, the most <laughs> Right there. Kids. You see it. Whoa! Oh. Right. I got uh, all tabbed a little bit. Oh, all tabbed, all tabbed? Okay, all right. tabbed. Yeah. I was about to say, I was like, oh, like, like, tabbed. Yeah. I was like, it's definitely yep, everyone's green. Yep. Also, too, uh, there just there for everyone's, everyone's awareness, too, uh, we're here live in the dev environment. Uh, so what you're seeing is obviously a quick peek behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, Go back and clip it. The right now. Dude, 20,000 clips just got made. Nice. Clip it, download and it, doing the finisher frame by frame. Calls. My favorite is the like quick draw. Secret, yeah, everyone's one. hearts like. Yeah. Hunter, I actually just bought it. I was like, Shit. I need it. The solar one the that kind of doesn't have the twirl around his finger. Oh, yeah. I was like, I need that. So I'll give up anything. I, I got the, I think it was, was it Guardian Games last year where you got the chair to go ahead and just send them flying at a thousand miles an hour? <laughs> Sorry to be never gets old. Yeah, absolutely never gets old. I think they had an auto currency program like installed Ashley for players. another game. Yeah, Bam. Right they were going crazy. Uh, I mean, it is their job. How did he all pass? They 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 they've been doing this for yeah. months. On they, controller. I mean, they don't really have the, the technically the world world's first, but yeah. Yeah, yeah we're the we're, we're. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> you know, in our hearts. No, it really. Yeah, that's I agree, Shadow Man. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Certain, all of you. the people who are passionate to hop in this again. Yeah, this is available for job players. Video games, yeah, which is also really exciting. It's and actually, good, be good at what they do, and like me. From all of us here, at Bungie, to all of you uh, out there, all of our guardians, our community. Yeah. So, you know, thank you. We're excited to, to be able to, you know. You know you know, get, get you all buffed to take on the witness. Yeah, honestly. Oh, it's, you know, it's not going to be easy, obviously. Yeah. Just another to opportunity work. to equip everyone, you know, yeah. obviously. Something I wanted to mention, just to, like, get a little peek behind the curtain when it comes to uh, our friend Sweeperbot here, is he used to be the best, uh, the best decoy in the game, like, better than all his other tiered variants because... There was a bug where only the broom the would take any 20. damage. 24. And as we see, he's really skinny. Yeah, it was empty. So he was, like, basically nigh untouchable. Functionally <laughs> immortal sweeper bot. Oh, my God. Must be nice, obviously, just to have your horcrux or whatever it is, right? But it's just his broom this time, as yeah. it would turn out. We fixed it, though. Yeah, it's fair. All right. Yeah, we, yeah. Fair. It'll live on, again, another thing that lives on. Two peaks behind the curtain there. Um, also, too, out of curiosity, uh, Vadar477 in chat asks, uh, will Free there request. be, like, if you have just two people on your fire team and you want to go in solo, is there a private mode you can dive into this with? I believe that you hop at the higher difficulties, you can do yeah. that. Excellent. Yeah, very cool. All right. So everyone out there that wants to really challenge themselves, maybe, uh, attempt to solo all 50 waves? Yeah. I think the theory is, our running theory is that it's a possible. I think it's not possible. That's my charge to the community. Can you beat Legend solo by your, like, obviously that's what solo means, but can you beat yeah, Legend solo? Someone's gotta do it. If my teammate on the social media team, Mitch, is out there watching while on vacation, so don't you dare be working, I think he's got that challenge cut out for himself as well. Hey, I've learned not to underestimate the Destiny community at all. Especially like Esoteric. Mission Whetstone, I thought it would take a lot longer for people yeah. to do that. So that was quick. flawless 50 yeah. waves. <laughs> So, you know, I'm pretty sure SMB I mean, players uh, underestimate the Guardians, much as, minutes the ago. same as the Witness at our own peril. So, obviously, none of us wants to do that. Uh, if anything, I'm just excited to go ahead and see this get in players' hands on April 9th. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm so excited to see like what strategies people come up with. As we see, we have another augment here uh, yeah. where you are killing spark hoarders to spawn a spark, and when you dunk the rift, it actually does a chunk of damage to the boss. Which, if you're looking at the mega at the health bar at the bottom. You'll see it does a decent amount, so when you get to bosses that are a little chunkier, yeah. these are ways to do extra damage to them. Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. Great. Not too shabby. I am also, I'll say it again, I'm so bitterly jealous I don't have buried bloodline right now. Like, you're making it look so good. I was going to have to carry you. Uh -oh. It's good. It's a good gun. Especially if you're on other subclasses. It's just free devour. With, plus the catalyst, you get devour and weaken 
pretty much on demand by using it. It's also too maybe a small thing, but my personal favorite, uh, just if I had to pick a champion mod, and I know it doesn't work like that, but I do have to give credit to anti-barrier, because it's every single barrier. It doesn't matter if it's a Hive Knight shield, doesn't matter if a, if a Taken mm -hmm. Vandal goes ahead and puts their shield up, or if a Hobgoblin goes ahead and, and cloisters up. Like, it's just like, I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep shooting you right Crash in the face. This is how this works for you. <laughs> OK. No! What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All right, we're, we're at a stream veto moments, obviously. Uh, no, no I'm sorry, happen. but this shame you have to live with. That didn't happen. Are you sure yeah. you want to hand out your Bungie ID still? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. All All right. I don't back down. I'll leave it to you on Twitter. That's fine. <laughs> I'll get cooked. It's fine. Again, at our own peril, Cook em. we underestimate. So is this the, is this the final you boss encounter in the pyramid for this particular wave? Devour. Yes, for this particular wave. I think we're on wave 30, Yes, the which means we're on our last. Wild uh, our last yeah, wave, which is here we take go. the fight to the boss. Again. So it's definitely a, a little bit beefier than the last two bosses. Yeah. Bit, but we're going to dunk and kill it in this one shot. Trial. Here we go. Oh. This is, there we go. This chat right so here. So it also too is that, like, that, um, that dunking mechanic that does extra damage to the boss. Is, That's just is like a, is that like a modifier pass. that kind of gets randomly yeah. added with each particular boss? That's like one of those augments, yeah. Backseat yeah. gamers There's during no a day one raid, one watching right. the team no, in the lead no, going, Excellent. All right. you should do this. You should do this. Why don't you do this? Guys, let's do the Evo. No. <laughs> uh, all right, let's keep running more waves. Also, too, actually, uh, I, I saw a question pop up in chat. Again, I apologize. I missed the name. Twitch chat is moving fast, but thank you to all you Guardians for joining us. Uh, is there any kind of a timer present in this activity, or do you just get to dive in and take your time? The only timer is actually present in the purchase phase. We want to keep mm -hmm. kind of keep that fast place flow going. Yeah. But otherwise, oh. we just have the timer ticking up. Let's see you know, how long the chat. session has Lepi been. Modes, please. Let's see but, some um, Lepi modes. Let's yeah, there's no we timer. We, you're take not, over the we're chat. Not counting down like yeah. 10 minutes to beat a whole wave or something. Yeah. The, the only real fail condition is is is, is the fire team alive mm -hmm. and is ADU still standing. Got it. Okay. And again, once the ADU is gone, that's it. That's it. One, there's moves yeah. on wave one somehow. That's yeah. it. Generally, we want to be pretty. Rockability, Incubus. Into a stack. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, no, you have to dance there. There's, there's a like a and yeah, okay. like that. Okay. And again, you're only defending its oh, one Oh, the roll ADU one's really good. Everyone can, can see the roll transition. one. Transition. Only the current ADU. It will keep it Left seven? Oh, that was left okay, seven. That's perfect. Uh, also, too, chat, I see you asking for information on the loot to, to show us what weapons are on the way. Tune in next week. We just increased the chat IQ by 100. Yeah, Shax is... <laughs> if you go into the lore, Shax is working with... Um, what the fuck are these tan frog emotes? <laughs> some folks, some characters from the past. That's right, yeah. And also opening up <laughs> his private reserve uh, for our use. Yeah. So, so is, this also, is this something Shax has been sitting on for a while, or has he been working on this behind the scenes? Well, there have been some, some weapons that yeah. uh, have been frowned upon in the Crucible. Sure. Yeah. And uh, but now's the time to bring those bring those out. Yeah. Anything Vanguard that... outlawing stuff is not something we have time for at this point. Exactly. Yeah. And if it uh, if it's dangerous, now's the time to bust it out. All the better. Obviously. You know, yeah. high risk, high reward. That's how I see it. And we, if anything, are facing down our biggest risk in the witness so far. Obviously, so making sure that Shax goes ahead and opens those coffers. Uh, nothing short of generous, I'll say. Just. Have you improved the uh, ability at regeneration right now, or are you just that good? Uh, that's what, you shot, get dadded. I feel like you're not that, hearing you get I'm the that same. guy. <laughs> it's called purifying you the bungee chat. Place, actually, I don't know. <laughs> no, maybe place an unhealthy amount of destiny. Sometimes I will, I not even sometimes, oftentimes I get off work and immediately I'm like, okay. I think there was a was on there, Noah, by the way. I'm not sure if you saw that. Uh, that's <laughs> but I immediately get on and play. I, I do raids and dungeons. I, I mean, I've been doing a lot of the coil recently. Yeah, I've seen the yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> my, my Ross Arago. My dad and I end up playing this game a lot, and so basically every single day after work, it's that's just cool. like us texting each other, being like, hey, so when are you hopping on? When are you done with dinner? That's fun. <laughs> I imagine we'll probably more so do the easy modes, but I've got my, my Nightfall crew I'm sure I could dive in here with. Although, honestly, I think at this point, he's, he's more loot paid, my dad, than any of us, so I think he'd have no problem diving in here. That's awesome to hear. That's what Destiny is all about, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's bringing people fun. together. Yeah. No, solo completions only, baby. All right, that's getting pretty intense. Uh, let's see. Out of curiosity as well, uh, I'm not Are sure if you mentioned 50? this one, but is uh, Tom? Is there a light level increase within to the light, or is this still at 1830? I believe it is. It is at the current power. Current power. Cool. Yep. All right, that hasn't changed. 18. Thank you, Nikki Knight. 1830. For that question as well. Oh. It's oh, that level of difficulty. Not nice. pinnacle level. Okay. I don't have enough for that. Nice. How much scrap are you sitting on right now? I was on 5,000. OK. Oh, I was too late. Scrap for cash. Scrap for cash. You, you got uh, on the narrative, narrative team, department. Honestly, that yeah. is. 
I want to say obnoxiously good. It's like it's always like, man, we appreciate that. You guys are stealing our job. Last year, last one hour for the Amazon. I thought it was 30 minutes. Want to write tweets? No. Vault space? God. Remaining intense. And again, we're still fighting the hive. We were fighting the fallen earlier. Oh, oh he's gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna so die. So there will be multiple sets Where's this of devour? witnesses armies going ahead and changing. Where's this devour? Uh, activity out here. Yeah. Usually it's just Actually, one. Actually super run. Right, yeah, yeah. For uh, the sake of the developer yeah. tools, we went ahead and just swapped that over just yep. so folks can get a, a look. You know it's getting harder when uh, Noah stops flexing. I know, right, yeah. He's actually okay. having, uh, There's a lot going on, you know? There is. Like, <laughs> Fairness. And I think also, too, this is something we sort of touched on yesterday when we were doing our initial playthroughs, but uh, especially when you get to these higher levels and it's not just kind of the, you know, the, the proverbial, comparatively speaking, you walk the in the park the first few right. are. I, like, you really got to keep your comms sure. crisp with your team. You got to make sure that you're really aligning, um, not even necessarily your, your champion mods, but maybe sending your scrap to one part to really go ahead and stymie the bad guys there so you can focus your attention, your abilities, your supers on another lane. Um, actually, also, too, to that end, uh, obviously, the, 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 you know, pyramids have been doing some terraforming. You're getting the medallion but, um, drop. You know, Tom, here. when you guys were building this activity, the how long are you guys going about even so. changing these maps? It looks like you guys have changed the devour? architecture in some pretty significant ways. Nah. Yeah, so so when we looked at these maps, right, we want to have like a bunch of, bunch of distinct lanes for the enemies to kind of like attack the ADU from, and they give you like these fronts that you have to divide your attention yeah. across the team. So you really have to be like, oh, they're coming from the left, they're coming from the right, you take yeah. this way, I take that way. Yeah. And yeah. like uh, a lot of times in, the, in the, these Very maps, over? For PvP, yeah. no. but they didn't have the lanes we needed, and the artists and the designers working together like, oh, like what if like the pyramids yeah. just like evaporated this building right here? Yeah, <laughs> and it's like great, let's do it. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, and that really, we, so we had to open up some 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 channels in here, and like that, you know, we got the great Damn, you know, it's, fictional content. It's getting tough out there. Yeah, it's, it's forces. It's not, you know, yeah, it's not Todd. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, and also, too, I'm, I'm getting some word from the Traveler in the sky. Uh, no, I hate to break it to you, but we have come to the end of our gameplay segment. You must re return from your throne world. I think I performed pretty well. I think I, yeah. I'll be the first to agree with you, especially because I don't want to have to face you down. 43, there are 43 help, minutes honestly. in. What, 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 just 1v1 in yeah. Crucible sometime. Yeah, and also, too, is I think, uh, I, I think we can say that, but this is going to happen. We maybe won't say where, but this isn't the only location that players are going to have yeah, a slot available right. to them. Yeah, there will be more than that, obviously. Uh, Noah, welcome back from the th throne world. It's good to see you. I got a lot of tithes. You know, I'm feeling like, I feel like Eris and I are comparable right now. So you're going to turn into a hive? Never mind. I, won't want, I don't want to attempt turning into a hive god. That's fine. We'll leave that for your That's own the next adventures. Expansion. Obviously, that's true. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but no, Noah, thank you very much for taking us through that. Yeah, uh, thanks and for having me. And of course, for everyone here in Twitch oh, chat, thank you for joining us. Me, but before we go ahead and on, head man. on out, uh, He's you know, we, obviously, this is that's just fine. kind of the first look at what's like that all in time. Destiny 2 Into the Light. Again, as a reminder, we're going to be doing three streams showing up all of this content that's going to be coming out, available to all players. And of course, before we go ahead and head off, you know, Tom, you guys have all worked so heavily on this activity. Uh, Tom, we'll start with you. When Onslaught releases, when it gets in players' hands on April 9th, what are you most looking forward to? I, I really want to see what players do with the defenses. I want to see like yeah. what, what their strategies are. I know Noah's got his strategies. I've got mine. Maybe mine are a little less developed than his. <laughs> um, and, and just to be able to like, see, also, it's a great time to get back in and play. It's going to yeah. be a great Not time to play this season. Like, new activities, tons of rewards. You mean um, unlimited waves it's, it's that get harder and harder, and harder with, with, when you you're know, in the me, same me spot? Yeah, that's going to be awesome. awesome. Yeah. Uh, Jerome, as someone who's gone ahead and helped craft this story to bring this to life, obviously, to make sure it fits into the Destiny universe so well, uh, what are you most looking forward to when this releases on April 9th? Uh, first of all, people getting absolutely hyped out of their minds for the final shape. And I want to see <laughs> what builds arise out of so this. Hyped. It's a kind of a different strategic calculus yeah. than we've seen before. So I want to see how the uh, players innovate and uh, deal with this new challenge. Strategic calculus. I'm going to file that one away. That's the, the narrative team, everyone. She's just making us all look bad. Uh, and of course, Noah, you know, you've, you've helped brick by brick put this together, this brand new activity. Um, you know, <laughs> someone who's obviously spent a ton of time playing it in addition to developing it. You know, when it gets out into the wild, when you've got the chance to play it with your friends, what are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to just getting my reps in, seeing how far we can get, especially on Legend, get extra rewards, have an extra difficulty, Not just yet. have fun with friends and trying to see, like, like Jerome was saying, like what builds arise, like what cool stories come out of playing things like this. Like we saw, you can have a big tormentor show up and like yeah. all these different things, those little emergent moments are what really makes Onslaught special at the end of the day. Yeah. And I'm really proud of what the team and everyone has done. Like I'm a very small part of a larger team. Teams are way better than heroes. Yeah, and, you're here. And you know, everyone has done such a great job building Onslaught and just curating stuff for Into the Light. I'm so excited for what's gonna show up in these next live streams. Awesome, yeah, and thank you guys all three for being here today to represent the team and help us kind of, you know, show this first glimpse at Into the Light to all the players out there. Obviously, it's pretty great to have you guys here, bright and early in the morning.
Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Yep. All right, everyone. Well, I believe that's it from us here at Bungie HQ. As a quick reminder, again, we'll be back next week at the same Bungie time, same Bungie place to show you some even more content about Into the Light, including some returning Excellent Guardian favorite weapons, time. which you may have gotten a glimpse of today, yeah. a brand new look at an all new social space as well that you can take your fire team down to, and even more information about upcoming rewards. Before we obviously send it off, I want to again thank our guests here for joining us today, to the entire Destiny development team who behind the scenes right now is working on this content, bringing it to life for all of us. Thank you all so much for your hard work. To Clayton and Ashley, our play testers in the back who went ahead and helped fill out the fire team. Getting some waves. There we go. Thank you very much. To the amazing team of producers who are here putting on the show, thank you all so much. Genuinely, it's the amazing gamut, to have best all the assistants. Uh, they have the distinct difficulty of making me look good on camera, so believe me, their work is cut out for them. And to our team of moderators and chat, you're the real heroes. Thank you so much for your time. But in the meantime, again, reminder, we'll be back next week at the same time and place to show you even more content. But until then, Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you all star side. Watch time. Did they, uh, did everyone, wait, did no one get the emblem drop? Oh, so they only turned it on for a little bit, so everyone would have to watch the other streams wait how do you is it twitch.tv slash drops slash inventory mm. uh 93 and 31 yeah so now you have to watch the second stream nice that's, that's actually kind of smart, though. <laughs>